I share that quick exercise with you because we are creatures of habit. We do things that we don't realize that we've, we've been doing for years. But here's the thing, the habits that we have right now, some of them can keep us from the success that we want. Some of them can keep us uh, from doing the things that we want. And sometimes we have to take a self-evaluation. But I've asked that question for over 15 years. And the number one answer that I received was positive attitude. Most speakers say attitude is everything. They're dead wrong. Attitude is the most important habit that we all have. Stanford did a study that, and they came up with the conclusion that 87.5% of our success is derived from our positive attitude. 12.5% is from the people that we know and, and the education that we get. But positive attitude, ladies and gentlemen, it is the number one habit linked to our success. It's been written in so many books that uh, if you've heard of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, one of the top habits in that book. The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. There's so many things that when it comes to positive attitude, it's not about being happy-go-lucky. When I decided to write the book, now I could have wrote a book on leadership. I could have wrote a book on sales. I taught those for years, customer service. I do trainings on all of that stuff. But I decided to write a book about the habit that leads to the success to any area in your life. Financially, friendships, doesn't matter. Fitness, whatever it may come to, it's gotta be about positive attitude. I even came up with the law of attitude and the law of attitude states, it, um, if we wanna change anything in our world, we must first change our attitude toward it. If it's a person that you work with, if it's a, a part of your job that you don't like, uh, maybe it's your health. I'm trying to lose 10 pounds right now. And believe me, I had to change my attitude about going in that gym and trying to eat right. It's not always easy. And it's not easy. And a lot of things I'm going to share with you today, we've all heard them, but it's not easy sometimes to put them in play. And, be, and these things become our habits. Now, when I looked up the definition of attitude, it states, Webster states, it's the way we think or feel about something or someone. But see, I think it's more than that. I think it's about being strong-minded. How many of us see the stories on TV or the stories that we read about children and adults that are strong-minded and get over sicknesses? And they talk to me and they say, you know what? I had the mindset of, I'm not letting this get the best of me. Or we have friends that probably have gone through something. I'm not going to let this to get the best of me. There are athletes that are out there that are strong-minded. They're focused. They know what they want. They know, I mean, how many of us see in the NFL or college football or any athlete, they were told at some point, you're not going to make it. You don't have what it takes. See, ladies and gentlemen, they can measure how high someone jumps, how fast they run, but they can't measure someone's attitude. They can't measure what's in someone's heart and what's in someone's mind. And... So when, you know, that's what I mean about being strong-minded. I think it's about being inspirational. As leaders, as managers, as owners of businesses, we must walk in every single day with a positive attitude. We must be inspirational to our staff, our family, whoever we're around. We must be inspirational with our words, our actions, and our thoughts at every given time. It's also, too, it's about being disciplined. Having a positive attitude is about being disciplined, doing things when we don't feel like doing them. It's also about being dedicated, dedicated to whatever goals that we set, whatever vision that we have, whatever the reason why we're all put on this earth, what is our dedication? Are we just kind of playing around with it? Or are we fully in on making this happen, being successful? We've got to be all in. It can't be halfway.